Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flix and finishing up a project here of a little girl baby shower. Um, the theme is this little, I don't know how you'll be able to see it, but the title across here says, let me grab a bigger one here, here we go. It says Precious up here and it's a little African American little girl with a little um, tiara on and a little mermaid inside a clamshell. Um, this was designed by Divine Digital Diva on Etsy and again that's Divine Digital Diva and um, I don't believe this is these comes in five different skin tones and different kind of hair. Uh, there's I think she has pigtail uh, pigtails on one of them I can't remember offhand what are the ones I had? But anyway, that is who does those, and she does absolutely fantastic time. Now, these little die cuts are four inches, and these are the gable boxes. Somebody asked me if I got them from Oriental Trading when I did my Sesame Street video, and yes, I did. And I, oh, I ended up getting a whole bunch of boxes because they came out with some really nice new ones. These come in packets of 12 and pretty good pricing. I, I got them on sale at the time and I ordered them both in colors and in solid, I mean prints and in solids, but I <clears throat> love them. So I get my mini popcorn boxes as well. Now on this one I'm putting the image on the gable box and then what I did is I took three different shades of pink Oh no, two shades of pink and one of white, cut a pearl, and I knotted them. All I did was knot them on some uh, tool. And what I'm going to do is attach all of these, these three colors, to the corner of each one of these gable boxes. And once I attach them, I'm going to go back and clip them to even them out. And it doesn't take much to attach them. I, I knotted, I think each piece is probably four inches total, but when I tie the knot, I stretch it real good so that it ties a pretty good tight knot. And then just trim them off so that they're all even. And I don't want them quite as long as they are. So there we go. Just fluff them up a little bit. And let's see what we got here. This is probably, I'm going to say this has moved up to my favorite of all of the files that we have used. This is my absolute favorite. Oops, I just put the box in the bottom. Let's try that again. There we go. Alrighty. And I chose these rather than the white ones because I wanted the, the print on the entire box. So there we go with that. The next thing, I will get these all put together before I take a picture. Let me put another one together real quick. And it says precious across the top. So cute. Let me see here. Okay. This is almost done. There's a little book that I'm going to go over. The little scrapbook. And popcorn boxes, and then the centerpieces. Okay, I'm going to put it right. A little bit off. It's not quite in the center. It's a little bit off, so I can fit the three pieces here. And I put the dark one in the middle. And light pink, dark pink, and I would call it pearl. My husband decided to give up doing his own haircuts and decided he didn't want it shaved anymore. So he's in getting his hair done by Jenna, my daughter-in-law, who's a hairdresser. She works for me, but at night she's a hairdresser part-time. Since having baby Lane, she's been work, working for me probably before he was born and went part-time with the hairdressing so that she can be home and 
still be working. There's nothing like working from home. However, I think when you're home, uh, I do believe it's easier to go to an office job than it is to be a stay-at-home mom. You know, stay-at-home moms are very, 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 very underrated because that is the hardest thing to do. And a stay-at-home grandma, not easy. And that would be me with my next grandchild coming along. I'm wondering how that's going to go. Okay, I've got the mini popcorn boxes done, and they are all out of gold. They're already put together, so I just, but I popped out them on all the boxes. Then we have some, the book that she did, and we're going to put that together. Um, Jenna put all this together in a little mini scrapbook, memory book, and there's real seashells glued down here. This um, little trim here is little me uh, metal dots, and it's kind of almost like a leather. It's a faux leather. Uh, strip that she put on the front and then we have the glitters oh this is a really nice one too I can't remember what all she even has but the whole thing is done in pinks and gold now here the same thing is is these are little metal dots and this is like it, it's like a leather this trim is from Mc, uh, <laughs> McDonald's it's from Michael's and then this is the uh, what's it called washi tape and this I think is too. They both are. The trims on these pages. And the... Oh, these are cute. She cut out the square for a mounting frame. Love that. And... She, she loves to do the books. Those I think are her favorite. And this came... This, all these patterns were, came from one of those um, stat packs. Uh, from Michael's. Let me see if I can find the stack pack. So she could keep all the colors were in the. I gave her one, but I think when I got these, I might have gotten extra so I could tell you exactly which one it was that she used. And I can't find. Maybe this is it. Uh, there's a lot of pinks. Nope. Nope. Pink and green. There's too much. I think it was just all pinks. And I don't think I can find it, guys, but it is one of these that I just used the other day when I did a scrapbook layout and forgot that I shoved all this stuff in there. Um, when they have these hot buys where you can get them $5, um, when they have them on special, it was one of those. But any one of them work because they all come with the, the gold, a lot of gold metallic pages or metallic gold pages and glitters in these. You really have to watch for them at Michael's. They have them, I would say, at least every two or three months. I've gotten them a lot. I am going to pop, pop dot her over the, um, oh, I think you're probably going to have to bring this pop dot down a little lower. And then what she did is she cut out precious, but if I do believe she pop dotted it to put that on top. Now, you know what I think she said? The precious was supposed to go in the back. That's what it was. Well, and if it wasn't, it will be now. girl's name or maybe nickname precious I, this was just ironic that this is so cute they are the back of the book what I'm gonna have to do is go in here though and do some glittering if my glitter is not quite and that one has let me grab a different one there we go Add a little bit here. There isn't any glittering done on this little one. This little precious. And 
I'm about out of this gold. Just outlining all of this gold on the front of the shell. This is probably, I would say, I, I'm going to say this is my favorite of all of the, the digitals. Oh, it is so cute. Let me grab some. I'm going to add some pink right here. Right here. Put on the tail. These colors, this pink and gold. Oh, loving it. And I gotta admit, Jenna is doing a just a fantastic job. And been working so hard. I'm hoping that it won't be long before we will be able to do 90% of our stuff from the digital Divine Digital Diva shop. I the new line that we're going to be doing is the new shop that we open is going to be strictly Divine Digital Diva. She has so much stuff; it's unbelievable. And this I don't like where it's set. Let me see if I heard anything pulling it off. No, I better wait. Don't think I can do it. It's just that this one little fin is sticking out because of putting it on top. And you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It works. It is. So there we go. We've got the little book for precious done. And then I've got these left, these boxes, and then these three little pieces I glittered up will go in here for her to use at, as she wishes in her book. There's some die cuts in there, and there goes my husband, so I'll come back and show you the um, center pieces and how they were done. I'll be right back. Okay, back again. Oh, my husband always seems to manage to call me right in the middle of something. Okay, well, I changed the boxes. I said I was going to finish it, but I decided to put this strip of um, pink glitter at the bottom to match the lids of the bases, which are gold on the top, and then the pink strips around the bottom of the base. And I've only got a couple left here to put together, so I'm going to just go ahead and do them. Okay. I can't believe that it is almost October, November. I keep, keep um, wondering where in the heck all the time has been going. Too fast. Way too fast. And the older you get, the faster it flies. Oops. That one I forgot the strip. Let me put the strip there. And we finally, I shouldn't say finally because it makes it sound like I wanted it. Um, it's gotten cold now. We're in the 40s all week. Because we were in the 70s all last week, which I found phenomenal. And the weatherman here. This is your local weather. From Click Click Clicks. Anybody who cares. And there's probably not many of you out there that do. I do. Okay. Oh, shoot. shoot. I'm short some. How come I'm short some? Okay. I'm short some of these little girls. I have to figure out why. I miscounted somewhere. Not the first time. Actually, I didn't count them. Jenna did. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Let me see. Where's my paperwork? It tells me. But I will say that I have two in here. Yeah, let me show you the centerpieces and then I will take care of whatever I miscounted here. Because I've got two left. And maybe I counted those wrong. 
the centerpieces. Let me grab one here. I want to make sure that oh, that needs a little more strength to it. I don't know what happened here. But I'm going to have to redo that one. That one is not strong enough. This one is. This one's good. Um, these are two foot pieces and they're regular pearls have been put up here one here and all around here she's got her pearls on and then the nouveau drops were used here for the pearls on her um, headpiece here and some glittering going on down here and then precious at the top all that's been glittered i think these are so adorable and then they just go in their glitter box. Um, one thing I am going to say, my husband did take and cut up wood. For the Instead of ordering the wood bases, he cut up wood and, and sent them through the drill press, and then I put them inside the lid. Um, I don't think, since they're in, in these lids, it's necessary to be ordering them from Uline. I want to reinforce these a little bit on the, this is a thin area that she put the sticks. So I'm going to go through and reinforce them a little bit. Because I do not want them moving. Okay, there we go. And let me grab another one. There's six of these, and I'm just going to make sure that and then she took the straw to cover up down here where the stick is sticking out. And I'm going to add a little bit more glue here. Whoops, on the inside, not the outside. Sacrificed my finger, thumb. I just did. Because I want to make sure this does not move. And it's nice and tight. Again, the pearls, just checking this one. When you're putting the pearls on with hot glue, keep in mind that you really need to press down on them. Don't just lay them on top of the hot glue. You need to really push them down so that they stick. I gotta go through all of them and make sure because sometimes I'll gotta talk to Janet there, that she has the glue there, but she doesn't push it down enough. And then the pearls go loose. And let me check. And they are loose because she didn't do one continuous line. She just put hot glue sparingly and let them hang loose in these areas which is all you need to do. But make sure that you've got them on tight. There we go. And also on the straw when you're using that as a base, you've got to make sure that you leave about a half an inch of the bottom that is not covered with the straw because it you can't stick it in the base if it's if the straw is covering it. Now we got a couple here and let's see here. I want to make sure all of these are nice and tight and I mean all of them. I love this girl. I've got to get into into her shop and gradually order everything she has which pretty much have already because she has got the best love her files and there we go okay that one's good and here yep good and filling this with glue you know the glue, hot glue dries very, very firm. So it's great for using in joints where your your wood meets. I always like to make sure there's plenty of hot glue in there so that it doesn't give way. 
And was that the last one? Nope. There's one more here. Don't want to try and put that one up while it's drying. I'm going to do this first. I see all the way down with the popsicle stick, which is what we need. There we go. And pearls good. Pearls good. There's a loose one. There's a loose one right there. There we go. And love this thing. Oh. Okay, guys. I will get them all set up. We've got the boxes and I'll finish those up and I'll get some pictures of everything. And the next project I'm going to be working on, I'm sorry, it's not scrapbook page because I got a couple deliveries from Jenna today and I need to do my books. I have a order for 20 library books and they're 16 inches tall and the front is one book and the back is another book. So I'm going to be doing that and oh, I, a Louis Vuitton party is going to be my next one. So I will see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.